Oh man, this guy's not going down easy. Holy crap. I missed my conduit bender. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, I have some very good news for you. There has been a couple of updates, actually, at least two, maybe more, uh, on Experimental Branch uh, since I recorded uh, episode three. So we are going to continue on, and we're going to actually start over, too, because there's been some very significant changes even from where I left off. Um, so I want to start over from the beginning because, excuse me, we had a few things left over that we're, that we're not now supposed to have, like, for example, the conduit bender. Uh, you can no longer make the conduit bender just from the workbench. Um, so I, I just decided to start over. Uh, the mines are now actually functional. Uh, from what I saw, I, I just played for like maybe five minutes. Um, the mines are functional, but they're not, they're still not complete, but they're, they're actually functional. So we can actually go in there. There's monsters in there and we can mine ores, which is fan freaking tastic. Okay. Um, lots of big changes. I haven't even read the patch notes because honestly, I didn't even realize there had been a couple updates until I, I got in and started messing around with it and realized that they had done that. Uh, and then, uh, so, uh, and then I, I quit the game so I could start this recording and then there was even another update. So there's been at least two experimental updates uh, since we played last. So I'm really excited to do this because um, I only have three more episodes in the stable series and then I'm done with that series. Those will come out over the next three days for you guys to watch. Um, and I was a little bit bummed because I wanted to keep playing the game, but there wasn't really a whole lot more that I felt like I wanted to do um, in the in the current stable series. So I'm really super stoked that we can continue on here. Now, um, a couple of you guys gave me some useful comments, but I don't know if they apply now. Um, one of those comments was that you can find plutonium out in the desert, and at in and, and that version, uh, the version that I was playing, apparently the worms, uh, the graboids were disabled, but that may no longer be the case. I don't know, but they've even changed uh, like all the ores and stuff now too. So it's just, it, there's a lot of changes. I haven't read any of them. I probably will at some point where we're just going to kind of go into this blind and just discover all the new changes that they have. So without further ado, uh, let's just go ahead and delete uh, this game here. Um, how do we, how do we delete this? Oh, from here. Okay. And we're going to start new. Okay. And we'll just go with Ranger again because I, I don't know if the, the points are now working or not. So let's assume that they are for the moment. And we'll go back to our, our blue colored theme. Secondary can be black. And then detail, we kind of had... Yeah, they, they certainly need to fix these colors. I kind of would like to have a yellowish looking color, but none of it really looks like it's supposed to. We were using red. Uh, we could go with a green. Yeah, let's go with a, a green color. Um, and... Yeah, I don't, I don't care about the glow. We'll just leave it the way it is. Okay, confirm that. Don't care about any of this stuff. Um, so let's confirm this. And uh, we're going to do our requisite two points in speed, and we won't put any more points in speed. That's That feels just about right. Um, and then we're going to do three in health, three in strength, two in stamina for starters. Okay, let's confirm. Um, so with our points... Uh, see, the thing is, is I don't know what to do with the changes. Well, let's let's assume that the changes are the same. I mean, obviously we have to start with the chisel no matter what. Um, and we're going to need the shovel. See, I'm not sure about the conduit bender because you can no longer make that in, you know, the normal workbench table. But, you know, we, we know we're going to want that. So let's just, oh, we can't quite get to there. Uh, so we'll move towards that here. We have to take that. Uh, we want to get to the forge as soon as possible and to the printer and that but yeah we're out of points there too okay so for engineering i mean let's just hmm. well we're gonna need the shovel for sure and we can't take anything more so we'll we'll see where things sit after that okay uh so let's confirm that um we're just gonna call ourselves og as usual confirm we're gonna go to custom game i'm gonna turn the well actually you know what let's leave this all on the default and we'll see how the vehicle fuel consumption, if they've if they've fixed that or not. If they haven't, then I'm going to probably turn that down later. We'll do first person hit reaction. Um, and yeah, we're going to leave all the rest of the stuff the way that it is. And let's go ahead and confirm. 
and create. Here we go. Ah, yeah, I'm excited to continue playing this. I really am. So I was a little bummed when I finished the uh, the Stable Branch series, but you know, like I said, it just didn't feel like there's much much more to do at that point in it. So I'm really happy that we can continue on here with the experimental branch. We weren't, you know, we weren't far enough along in the first. Oh shit, there's a bug there already. In the in the first one, you know, to where it's a big deal for us to start over, anyways. Okay, pick that up. Um, go to F1 and patch the suit. Pick up the bandage. Go to F1 and use the bandage. Try and open the door. We can't do it. Get out the thingamadoodle. Um, oh, do we... Wait. We don't have a chisel. We've got a... What is that? I don't know what that is. Uh, the door's jammed. Equip your survival knife and break down. And exit the pod. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so... Have they fixed first-person hitboxes? Let's see. Uh, I don't, I can't say for sure if they have or not. Oh, that's a lot of monsters to gank me right out of the, out of, out of the start here. Nah, I, yeah, I don't think they have. Okay, so let's go to third person. Yeah, first person hitboxes still seem to be a little, oh shit, that was a long drop. <laughs> Uh, do seem to be, still be a little screwed up. You're not going... Hey, get back here. Now, to harvest critters, you actually have to to hit them now to get the stuff instead of just looting them, So, which is really cool. I like it because it's a little more, you know, a little more realistic. If you're going to take parts off of something you kill, you go... Ouch! Have to butcher it. See? Very neat. Okay, cool. There was a third dude over here. Where did he go? Oh, he's over here. Come here, you bastard. You're not going to get away with hitting us and then think you can just leave. All right, nifty. Okay, let's go uh, back to the usual looting of stuff. This is fun, man. I am so excited. Just the fact that, you know, the mines now work. Oh, here's the other thing, too. Um, and you guys actually told me this in the comments. Uh, and I, I just had missed it, I guess. But for the furnace... You can actually upgrade the furnace to to make water. So it's not that, that it's broken. It's You just have to upgrade it now, which is really cool. I love that. I have no problem whatsoever uh, with having to upgrade it, spend some materials to get it to work. So, yeah. Awesome, guys. Awesome. Okay, so is this thing... What is this? I don't, wait. Okay, what the hell is this? This is a survival tool. Oh, wow. They sure changed the way that thing looked, didn't they? All right, let's put that uh, here. Let's put this in one. So it's kind of like a welder now. Uh, it sure takes a lot longer to harvest uh, to harvest stuff. I don't think I'm a fan of that. <laughs> um, interesting. Yeah, it's like a little mini welder or something. Okay. Yeah, not not a fan that they slowed that down. I mean, it's not really conducive to fun gameplay, in my opinion. So, but, you know, this is what it is. We'll just make do. I don't know if that's something you can adjust in the settings or not. We'll work with it, you know, for now, though. All right, guys, this is this is painfully slow. Um, let, let's go back out to the settings. Uh, hold on. Uh, let's go back to the main menu and see if we can speed this up because it's just, it's taken so long for me to, to get this debris. And again, like I said, it's just, it's not fun. It's not fun gameplay. Don't give a shit if it's realistic or not. It's not fun gameplay. All right, so let's go to settings and custom. Uh, all right, is there like a harvest speed setting here? Tool weapon decay, structure decay, inventory, encumbrance, resource yield, 
alien health, hearing sight, slope slip. And I want to try and keep most of this stuff on default just as much as possible. Just so you guys see how the how the normal settings work, but yeah, I don't man, I don't see anything on here that speeds that up. Gosh dang it. Yeah, Phoenix Fire, if you're watching this video, God bless you. You guys are doing an awesome job. I love your game, but guys, come on. That is this isn't fun. <laughs> it really isn't fun at all. Uh all right, you know what? Oh shit. What are we gonna do? If we if we bumped up the resource yield, I don't know if that would apply to scrap though. Just to kind of compensate for, you know, it taking like three or four times as long as it did before. Ah, oh, shit. You know what? Whatever. I'm, I'm just going to, I'm going to make the best of it, I guess. But yeah, not, uh, not, f not fun gameplay. Just going to throw that out there. So hopefully um, enough of us will complain about that, that, <laughs> that they'll fix that. Or at least, you know, at least give us a, a setting to where we can, we can adjust it, you know? So that way, if the really super hardcore people want want it to be that way, they can. But geez, Louise, man, uh, I like you know I like to games to be challenging, but there's a balance between, um, you know, realism and oh, fun fine. gameplay is what I'm trying to say. Okay, well, how much? Oh crap! You guys are back already. Oh my pods all put back together too. I just took that thing apart. That's kind of axe. All right, well let's kill these guys again. I want to try and not get hit if I can help it because we're not in the best of shape at the moment. Oh crap, man, we got a windstorm coming in too. Is it, uh, yeah, it's a severe dust storm. Alright, I think we're actually okay right here though. So we're going to have to wait out this dust storm. I'm not going to retake apart that pod because we just took it apart and um, that would be a little cheaty A and B. I don't want to take another five minutes to take the damn thing apart again. <laughs> so, all right, well, guys, I'm going to wait out the sandstorm and then I'm going to go back to that other wreck and keep salvaging that because we're going to need, you know, all that salvage. And then I'll bring you guys back after that and we'll continue on. All right, guys, one thing I am noticing, um, and I didn't notice this before when I got up on my soapbox, but we actually get we actually get more stuff besides just scrap. So I've got some uh, broken barrels. I got some oxygen tanks. Well, no, we wait a minute. We picked that stuff up, though, didn't we? But we got we got wire. We got these scrap hinge things. Uh, broken barrel. Huh, I thought I had more than one of those, but I guess not. Okay. Well, anyway, the point being that we were looks like we get more stuff than just the space what was used to be called the space debris, which is kind of cool. I still think it takes too damn long though. Oh my goodness. Mr. Krabs is here. Okay. Well, let's deal with this guy. Let's get back out here where we can fight a little bit better. Oh, meteorites are back too! Yay! Oh shit, that just about landed on our head. And it's plutonium, I think, maybe? Oh man, this guy's not going down easy. Holy crap. I missed my conduit bender. Oh shit. Okay, here. Let's take one of these now. Oh, this crab is not going down easy. Uh, and they shouldn't go down easy. I mean, they probably, they must have buffed him or something. Trying to stay away from the the pointy end here. <laughs> okay, come on, stamina. This 
This is either a really high level crab or they seriously buff these guys. Okay, this is not going well. Here, we need another bandage. I think we're either dehydrated or out of food or something. Great time for that to happen, huh? Okay, here, let's get a little further away from him. Yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know. Oh, come on! Ah, oh, shit. Here. Uh, no, Runky! Drink. Okay, run, 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 run. <laughs> um, do we have anything to eat at all? I keep hitting F2 from because that's the stable game. Uh, key. F1. Food. I have no food. Shit. Not good. Oh, man. Unknown species. In inspect. A crab monster. Okay. Uh, nope. Okay, let's get stuff off of him. Alien tissue. Oh, man, that was a tough fight. That was a really tough fight. And we're in bad shape, guys. I don't have anything to eat. We got to go find uh, a tree quick. Um, There. There's a red tree. Uh, I don't know if that other tree will give us stuff or not. Oh, man. I love it. <laughs> you, we, sh we should never, ever be able to go up to a giant crab like that with a pocket knife and take it out in three or four hits, which is exactly the way it was earlier. I am liking these changes. Big time liking these changes. Okay. Um, I know there's stones and stuff there, but we got to... Oh, maybe we can find food in here. Upsie daisy. Uh, I'm stuck. Damn it. Don't have time for this. Okay. Uh, well, we have first aid, so that's good. Did they... Did they make these, um... Crates small, smaller. How do I get in there? Oh shit! <laughs> Excuse me. Get zoom tight. Oh. Yeah, I know. I'm working on it, bud. I'm working on it. Okay. Come on, give me some food, please. An apple, just an apple is all I need. That's some nice stuff, though. No food. Oh. All right. Okay. Let's get to the tree. Assuming they haven't changed that, this tree will provide some sustenance for us. Hopefully there aren't any enemies right in the immediate vicinity. Oh, uh, speaking of which, enemies, yeah. Um, and another crab. Is that just... Okay, here, grab this. Let's get... Did we just get the, the two and that's it? All right, eat. Whew, okay. We're not in immediate danger. We're just in danger now. Um. Here, let's go here again. So it used to tell us that... Okay, so we have to take it all the way down to get a berry. I see what's going on here. Okay. At some point, does it tell us you've harvested enough kind of thing? Okay, I'm going to stop here whether we're done or not because we're wearing out our knife. Um, 
All of these are rolling downhill. Pick that up. Let's see if we can stay crouched and try and avoid at least the crab. So those guys are badass, man. Anyway, what I was attempting to say earlier is that it's actually really awesome that we can't just kill a crab monster in four hits with a pocket knife anymore. You know, it never should have been that way. So, yeah, I am, I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far, you guys. Uh, this is decidedly more difficult. Can we still eat the, these uh, than it was before? And, and that's good. As long as, you know, I, I don't mind a game being challenging as long as it's a good kind of hard. That makes sense. In other words, it's fun gameplay kind of hard. Satisfying kind of hard. Um, all right, here. Let's let's go back in here. It's going to take me a while to get used to the new. Now, did these cause any kind of um, health problems? Uh Oh no, they increase health. Okay, good. Nutritional balance achieved. Are we getting hydration from these two? Oh yeah, we are we? Oh yeah, we get a little bit of hydration from these two. I don't think we did before, did we? Okay, nice. Alright guys, so far, I'm liking this. I am really liking this. This is awesome. Okay, um, let's see here. What do we need to do next? We've got 12 bandages, so we don't need to make those immediately. Um, and we did see some plutonium. Uh, well, I'm assuming it's plutonium. Oh, how do we mine that, though? With a knife? You know, back you know, back where we started, there was some plutonium. Um, okay, I want to walk and not run. We can salvage that. In fact, I think... You can actually repair these, but I saw somebody make a really good point about that. And that is that, you know, what what good is it to repair a vehicle in the early game when you don't have access to fuel, you know, kind of thing. Which makes sense, unless they've changed it to where, you know, that's different too. Um, let's go back over here and get more crates. Okay, good. We have more water, so we'll take that. More bandages? Good. I wonder if, if we're ever going to get food out of these crates anymore. Okay, let's go here. I'm going to have to go around this way. Well, they're giving us first aid kits, which is good. And we're doing okay with water at the moment. Okay, lots of stuff to salvage, but I'm not going to take the time to do that now because... Um, it just takes so long now. Uh, that's going to be off-camera stuff for the most part. Okay, is there anything up here? Crate-wise. Doesn't appear to be. All right. So, let's go back this way. Oh, I'm so glad meteorites are back. What? So, so do they now have a chance to burn up in the atmosphere? Is that what I just saw there? That's kind of cool. Very realistic. If that's what happened, or maybe it's a bug. I don't know. Yeah, we're, we're encumbered, man. Okay, we're, we're going to have to... I thought that area that we were at was back over by Beta Mine. Um, I want to go see if we can mine what I'm... Assuming to be plutonium with a pocket knife. So let's go back over here. These guys are going to be a problem. So come at me, bro. I kind of wish they would have fixed the first person hitboxes too, but maybe that's coming. I got fat rolls, man. I can't run. And I can't catch him. <laughs> All right, we'll just let him run off for now. Okay, so what is this? That's Oh, that's uranium. Oh, see, we can't mine that. Probably can't mine it with this either, can we? Nope. 
Interesting. Okay. Okay. So we don't even start the game off with a chisel now. Very interesting. All right. I'm going to go back over where we just were because I think we were near beta mine. It looks to me too like we're, we're now seeing more colors for the scanner. Which, by the way, notice stays on now. I don't even have to use the handheld thing anymore. Very nice. Uh, what's over here? Just more stuff to salvage, I guess. Um, I, I very briefly went into Mine 1, which used to be Alpha Mine, before I started uh, this recording. I was actually on my other save, too, but uh, I think I, I already mentioned this to you guys. I wanted to start over because... We had some stuff on that save that we weren't supposed to have, you know. Um, plus, I wanted to just see how things start off from the very, very start. So, um, yeah, let's go see if this is indeed what used to be Gamma Mine. I guess it's Mine 2 now. And just check that out really quick. And then we, we need to come up with a, a solution for our starting base. Uh, so where did I see that? I think I saw it right up this way. Yeah, is that, is that right? Hmm. I want to pick up those stones, but we're super encumbered. Yeah, I think it's right over here. There we go. Mine two. Okay, so now it's mine two. Turn our light on. I went all the way to what appeared to be the end of mine one two, and it's not. It it's completely different. Um, I didn't find anything in there except for monsters and ores to mine. Wow, that's cool. Got stuck there. It looks like they've decided to remove crates uh, from these mines. This kind of gives me, it, it reminds me a little bit of Gamma Mine, the way Gamma Mine used to be. Yeah, there's no there's no crates to loot in here now. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Bunch of skeleopods. Why aren't they attacking me? Dehydration detected. Hmm. I don't know. Um, F one, old guy. Oh. It looks like we get more. We don't consume as much water to get our bar back up either. That's nice. Here, let's eat these now. Oh, man, that's a change I like. So far, I'm liking a lot more than I'm disliking <laughs> about the changes. So that's cobalt. Man, I wish we could have found that in the, our stable playthrough because I, I was looking for it. Let's see, this goes off to another room. Huh? Are you going to attack us? Alien tissue. I wonder if that can be cooked for meat. All right. That's cobalt. That's mercury. Oh, wow. These guys don't seem to be attacking me. Like they're passive or something. Okay, we we can't we can't put anything else in our inventory because we're we just don't have room. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Um, I'm liking it, man. I'm liking it. I know I keep saying that, but I I do. Uh, there's they, they're apparently they've removed the crates from the mines. I'm not sure. Why? But that being said, there does seem to be more crates out on the surface than there was before to loot. So that's cool. 
All right, let's head him on back out. Hopefully this actually takes us back out in the right place this time instead of teleporting us like the other ones did. Okay, cool. All right, guys, we need to find a place to live. So uh, let's think about this. I, I might want to actually go back to mine one, just like we did in the first experimental, because we're right next to hydrogen, nitrogen, and mine one for farming. Um, uh, One problem that they had in the previous experimental is that the mob, the monsters were actually able to clip through walls, so your base didn't actually protect you, and they may have fixed that. I bet you they did, because that's a major, major bug. Um, So, if we're going to go... Yeah, see, this is where our, our base, our actual base was in stable. Interesting. Uh, if we're going to go to mine one, I believe that's south. So let's head this way. We might just go ahead and set up shop right in the exact same place we were going to before, at least for starters. Man, I want to pick up those stones, but again, we're already too heavy as it is. So I think what we need to do is kind of go th th through these arches. Uh, to get to the mine one area so right we're right next to the hydrogen and the nitrogen vents we've got a um uh we've got the mine to run you know for for resources there's the wasps yeah let's is he coming after me kind of look well no maybe not and um you know i i think that that's probably a good place now i'm not gonna say for a certainty that that's going to be our permanent location because um you know there's the biomes are so much nicer now that we might find a place that we like better but i think we'll we'll start there did i already loot these crates okay those bugs shouldn't be able to get to me oh i didn't i know i don't have room for this but we really can use this stuff man you know, water, wiring. Oh, man, this is great. You know, I might I might not be quite so salty about... Uh, about the deconstruction taking so long, be just because we get better stuff now. I, 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 still think it, I still think it's a little too slow, though. I really do. All right, you guys suck. I'm just going to throw that out there. Can I get through here? All right. Let's, um, let's get over. Oh, shit. Get out of here, you son of a. Let's get up here. A pistol? Oh, my goodness. Seriously? That was a good find. Goodness gracious. Oh, hit F1. <laughs> Holy crap, you guys. We found a pistol. Wow. Okay. Um, does it have any charges? It doesn't. Okay, but we, well, we used to be able to loot a lot of charges before. Oh, man, what a find. Holy moly. Okay, how about pistol charges? We are going to be so fat, we're not going to be able to move. Um. <laughs> Oh, man, that's an awesome fight. I can't believe we found a pistol. Oh, geez. Okay, so um, I thought I saw another crate over here. Maybe it was just this one here. Oh, another one! An even better shape! Oh. Okay, so does this one have any charges in it? No, it doesn't. Wow, oh, shit. That wasp is coming over here. can't believe it you guys we found two pistols two pistols all right we are 136 percent overweight there's the bloodly bloodly forest over there so you know what we're gonna have to do i think we're gonna probably have to uh how wait can i not open that back up it doesn't let me open it back up oh shit uh-oh we can salvage it. Does that mean it doesn't respawn? Hmm. I, what I was going to try and do is put some of this extra stuff in there because we're so heavy. All right. Um, let's, um, let's decide how we're going to do this. 
We could try and fight those guys, but I think what I'm going to do instead is we're going to top off our water. Yeah, that's really cool. We don't use as much water now. What does this say? Fibrous material harvest from indigenous plant life can be woven into cloth that is an ingredient to craft many different items. Alien fiber. Oh, alien tissue. Tissue ripped off, ripped right off the body of an indigenous alien creature. I'm assuming we can probably cook that. I have, I, I have no food and we're not in good shape, but I think, I think we're going to have to make a run for it. Uh, or fight them, I guess. Um, yeah, let's get out. Ah, shit. See, the problem is I can't move very well because we're so fat. Fat rolls, baby. Even if we can just damage them enough to get them to leave us the hell alone, that's all I care about right now. Okay, yeah, run away. Run away! Okay, I think... I think we're done with those guys. Alright, let's work our way over to the Bloodleaf Forest. Oh, that's a new bug! Look at that! They're like little... Little rhino beetles, beetles or something. Are they hostile? Uh, bet you they are if they swarm you. All right. We used to be able to eat uh, the ferns. Uh, but I think everything is now just kind of plant fiber. Doesn't say anything about being able to consume it yet. Okay. Uh, any chance there's any food in here at all? No, but we're going to take that and make ourselves even more heavy. These little buggers, see what I did there, buggers, don't seem to be um, hostile. All right, one thing I don't like that I'm seeing here is that um, it's kind of looking like we're getting generic stuff from the plants instead of specific plant parts. I don't like it when games do that because it they're kind of dumbing stuff down. But that is not a change that I'm a fan of. However, the, the cool stuff is still by far outweighing the stuff I don't like so far. Is that just our food? Yeah. Messing us up. Man, you're, it seems like even though it takes longer to harvest these, it seems like we get a lot more um, berries. Okay, so these are the berries that give us hydration, but also uh, cause harm, or at least that's the way it used to be. Are those guys attacking me? Nutritious fruit to replenish hunger and slightly damage your health. Okay, so here, let's eat this. Yeah, it doesn't give us a whole lot. We're going to have to rely upon the red berries for food then. Let's just take one of these to compensate. All right, I'm not entirely sure if those little buggers are attacking us or not, but I am getting to the point where I can hardly walk now, so we, we've we got to get to our base site before I loot anything else. Uh, unless we find a red tree, in which case I'm going to do it because we need it, you know? We had our base location up on the cliff right next to one of those ginormous pillars uh, because the pillar provided some protection from that side. All right, we're not going to go mess with that crab. Not with a not with a pocket knife, man. I'm assuming that's still a nitrogen deposit. The little valley where the crap was is, yeah, is where the hydrogen is. But once we get better weaponry, you know, he's not going to be as hard to kill. Well, I'm assuming that anyway. Okay. So there's the mine. And that little cliff there is where we actually had placed our base. I wouldn't mind actually being down in the Bloodleaf Forest, but the problem is... There's not a lot of clear area to build, so it'd be a little bit of a challenge to to do that. Is that a... Yeah, that's a purple tree. We need a red tree. Huh, okay. Let's 
Well, let's um let's go up here. Wait, are we crouched or not? There we are. Okay. So yeah, I think I think there's enough room up here to do the base. It's it's going to be a little tight, but I think it's workable. So why don't we just do that again, just like we did before? Because, again, we're near the, the two gases. We're near the mine. Uh, I would like to be a little near a food tree. That's the only reason Locate food supply soon. that would make me think otherwise. Is that a red tree over there? I don't know. I'll tell you what we're going to do, though. Let's go ahead and set up the hut. Uh, and we need to wrap up this episode because it's going a little bit long here. So F2. Uh, we want structures. And we want, uh, oh crap, we need makeshift patch tape. Uh, okay, so that requires makeshift cloth bundle and the purple berries that we just ate all up. Uh, okay. These, are these considered makeshift cloth? Scrap cloth. Cloth bundle. Yeah, I don't think that's the same thing because it's saying we don't have makeshift cloth bundle. Okay, how, okay. Oh, alien fiber. Okay, so... Wait a second. We need one per. Okay, and for the structure... Yeah, we don't have enough animal parts for those, so we'll have to do a scrap hut. Uh, we need four. Okay, so let's go to here and let's make four of these. I guess we have to hold the mouse button down. Two, three, and four. Okay, now we need four more purple berries. Oh, man. We are getting so... Oh, shit. Well, these guys aren't usually hard to kill. not even he doesn't even seem to care that I'm here is he I think he's glitched inside the thing is he gonna come out I don't know oh uh oh oh um are these guys gonna be harder to kill than they used to be this is not good because oh shit we can't move very well all right not as hard as crabs not as hard as mr. crabs why can't we hit him? Here, let's let him charge us, and then we'll kind of try and flank him a little bit here. I, Cause I'm so slow, I can't like chase him down or anything. So he's got to come to us. Looks like there's some stones right over there. Okay, come at me, bro. Here we go. Got him. All right. Uh, I'm not going to harvest anything on him because we cannot pick anything else up. I think this is a purple tree over here. I think. Yeah, pretty sure it is. Okay, let's just go over here. Get the stuff. Helios Hill. Ah! Uh, I hope that guy stays away from us. If we get attacked by a crab now, we're, we're done for. There's no way I'm going to be able to kill another crab right now. Can't maneuver. Don't have enough knife durability left. Man, is he going to hear us? Let's turn that on for a second. Yeah, I know. Oh, you got... You came back out of your little trap. I hope he doesn't hear us doing this, man. Did we get it? Yeah, it's right there. Okay. Mr. Krabs is staying away from us. Here, let's crouch. And uh, so we need to make four of these, I guess. Okay, now can we make the thing? Yes, we can. Okay. Um... 
you know, if we if we bite the dust, we bite the dust, but I, we need to get our spawn point set. So let's get back over to our base location. You act, how did, oh shit, he heard us. How did that happen? Oh no, this is not good. How did that happen? I didn't, I didn't figure he'd be able to hear us from where we were. And we're out of stamina. Where's he going? And of course we've got a windstorm up, yeah, of course we do. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to try and here crouch. But no, don't jump. We're going to see if we can escape into the mine to get away from this guy. Is he still following us? Oh, he's coming around here. Uh Oh, here he comes. <laughs> Let's go to the mine. <laughs> Shit. Here we can put our light on now. Can we build in here? Oh, that would be interesting. Uh, F2. No, it, it disables the tab for it. So we can craft this kind of thing. A crab screwdriver. Interesting. So we're probably going to have to make a scythe to mine initially. Okay, let's just wait a second or two and see if, if he buggers off. I have a feeling like he probably won't. He's probably right outside the door, but... Oh, jeez. Okay. So the starvation is taking... Eh, it's it's not taking a huge amount of health off. I'd say maybe 5% at the most. All right, let's go back out and see if that crab's there. Okay, I think he's gone. Maybe he, maybe he went back to his initial spawn point. Well, you know what I'm going to do? Oh. It really would be fun to, to live down in the forest, but it'd be such a pain to set stuff up. There's some dunes right out there. I wonder if the worms have been re-enabled. Yeah, there's there isn't <clears throat> really anything up here that looks good. I I think our place up on the shelf is really the best bet that we have. So let's get back up there and get our our shack down so we can set a spawn point. And then at least if we do bite the dust, we're not respawning some in some random location. Okay. Let's go ahead and build our hut uh, right here. And we want to seek medical assistance immediately. Turn it this way, and probably right about there is as good of a spot as any. Okay. And let's set our spawn point. <laughs> Finally. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Our health is in bad shape, so is our hydration. Uh, let's let's deal with the hydration now. Oh, man, I'm so stoked that we get more water out of these now. That's so oh. nice. Okay, I have got to... Uh, i got to get some food. we got to find a red tree, but we are out of time, too. So, guys, I'm just going to pick up right uh, where we left off in the next episode, um, and we'll go from there. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. See ya.